Alright, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is. So let's just get into the energy, alright? I've been having problems with my microphones. I came with my headphones and my microphone all day. So um, my apologies if the audio in this video is a little messed up. Alright, let's get it. I appreciate anybody who comes to my channel and shows me love in any way. Whether you're giving me a like, a comment, subscribing to my channel, booking a reading with me, sharing my content, giving, donating to me, or simply just giving me a view, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate those who really do interact with my channel and keep me going and keep me live and keep me lit. Um, me interacting with your energy helps me pick up on you more. So I appreciate that. All right, let's get into it because you already know. You already know. I got a page full of notes, right? You already know I got a page full of notes and a song to go along with it. Somebody asked me, how do I be finding the songs to go along with it? Um, so basically, I start my morning routine talking to God and God talks back to me and then I start making notes right and then I start listening to music I usually go on like new music explore stuff new stuff that comes out so it's like the new energy it's matching the energy of the present you feel me and then when I hear a song that starts resonating with my notes I know that it is the song of the day okay so the song <laughs> the song of the day is for my soul okay I'll put it down in the comments below uh, for you to listen to it as well um, but yeah we're just gonna hop right into the energy so the overall energy is lost and found okay I feel like there's the energy of somebody trying to cause temporary problems for you and it's easier said than done to cause temporary problems for you because you know what's going on and that's why it's creating a Mandela effect this is like somebody, okay, who knows where you keep your money, so they take little bits of your money. But if you switch up where you keep your money, okay, it'll have a Mandela effect. It'll be harder for them to um, do this. Their wish will not be granted if you change something. It says, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Wish is not granted here in temporary problems. So if you had a temporary problem with somebody stealing your money, Okay, and you decide not to lower your standard and change where you hide your money, you feel me? Their wish of stealing from you gradually will be defended against, okay? Um, and because you did this, somebody has to find a, another mode of existence or some, find somebody else to steal from. Lost and found energy. So then also I was getting ask and, refi ask and receive, okay? And they were showing me visions of... Um, when I was younger, when I was younger, I was a lot poorer than what I am right now. You feel me? Uh, when I was younger, I was in need. And I would go to the lost and found and find shit that I needed. And he was giving me that analogy, going to lost and found to find shit that you needed. And I was like, come on, God. Like, how am I going to go to lost and found <laughs> to find stuff that I needed? This is how I talked to God. Uh, by the way and God was like you already you already at lost and found asking you shall receive so I started asking and I shall receive and it's that type of energy like everything that I've asked for over the last couple of days has came to me right when I needed it like it's crazy too like right when it starts to deplenish right when it starts to deplenish here come God to give me whatever I needed I just had to seek for it the world card okay allowing me to walk away from people attacking me and move forward in a way six of cups that I uh moved previously in the past that lost and found energy but instead of taking you know free shit from lost and, and, and found i'm getting free shit from god okay and he was giving he was really giving me that analogy like everything is a is a temporary problem okay until you can fix it you feel me and you have you have on your team a fixer of all problems you have on your team somebody who can create and uh bring up materialize anything that you may need in any way possible g i was just thinking the other day damn i need money today i open my door money like this is the energy like 
Uh, so there's somebody here, okay, who is trying to fuck with you. They're trying to fuck with your natural ability to manifest everything that you want so that you will settle for bullshit. You'll settle for anything because you need a rescuer, you need a hero. So what they do is they try to trick you. They try to trick you in believing that you can't create anything that you want or you can't go and find what you want or that God won't give it to you. And then you live in that mode of existence. That's your mind frame. That's your... That's the way that you think neural pathways have set in and now you are codependent to the idea that you need others to give you the things that you need. Okay, and it's easier said than done to uh, realize that this is all a cap and create a Mandela effect and realize your worth here. Okay, um, but you're going to start getting evidence, neutral energy. So this was the other thing that uh, God was telling me that I need to saturate myself. And that's crazy because I just opened up my juju. I just opened up my juju oil before uh, I did this reading and my juju oil spilled everywhere g it got freaking okay my headphones were messing up my juju oil spilled everywhere and i was like i was like gee should i just like not do the reading and he said no saturation and i said okay okay so now i am literally like saturated in juju oil okay and at first i thought it was a waste like i just wasted all my damn good juju i've been praying over my i just wasted this good juju oil everywhere and and then he was like no saturation and that's that mind frame because my I pay money for my juju. I, I give my, I give it my energy. I, I do things for it. I put in time and then I just wasted it all. But that's that mind frame. God will give me that juju oil <laughs> over and over again. I will give my juju oil back over and over and over again. It never runs out. So why would I be mad over a little spilt saturation? You feel me? Why would I be mad? Because now... It's saturated on my desk, it's saturated on my chair, it's saturated on my body and my outfit, and I can feel it all over me. Why would I, uh, uh, why would I feel like a uh, man when this is what I wanted to be saturated in good juju? You feel me? So, this is the energy. Don't be, don't be, um, frugal with yourself, don't be feeling bad or guilty about getting your nails done, saturating yourself, your self-care, like helping yourself even when you feel like you shouldn't or you don't got it or whatever. These are temporary problems. That that thing is always going to be refilled, especially when you believe and you have a connection to God. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you don't have a connection to God. So don't get out in my comments asking me like, I've been doing this over and over. I've been affirming and nothing is working for me. I don't know what to tell you. Like you need to believe in what you are affirming or it's not gonna work oh that's the thing saturation there we go so how i got myself to believe in god okay is that god saturated me uh i'm i'm very lucky <laughs> thank you jesus you feel me i'm very lucky that god um comes and he seeks me out and he pours into me and he follows me and he never allows me to go anywhere alone and even when i try to hide from him he like oh Peekaboo. You feel me? Uh, I'm so glad that God, he really just gives me love, un abundant love over and over again, just pouring out into me. So I can never like uh, not know. You feel me? Like it's just a mind frame for me because God has shown me with saturation, with him pouring into my life. He showed me with him from the beginning. Oh, this is gonna be a long reading, y'all. Buckle the fuck up. He showed me from he showed me from the beginning of my life that he will take me out of any circumstances to put me in church. You feel me? To 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 put me in line, to get me to read the word. He has shown me like just has been following me, stalking me, and giving me love my whole entire life, G. So I've been saturated with God. It's been my mind frame has been programmed. Right, because he has showed me his love and poured it out unto me, and I can believe and affirm that for myself. And spirit is saying that sometimes you have to saturate yourself. Sometimes you have to saturate yourself in uh, positive reinforcement. You feel me? Um, manifesting small goals, okay? And then you start believing that you can manifest because you did something small. It starts out small, and when you start doing and getting those endorphins, and it starts building up. Uh, when you start speaking things, you start believing it, and then through saturation, you are able to tap into the abundant, the abundant free-flowing energy of the divine, okay? It's always there. It's always 
reincarnating. It's always refilling over and over again. It is never depleted. It will never run out. And once you realize that and tap into that wavelength and really apply that self to your, apply that energy to your mind frame and your knowledge, then you'll start to see the abundance, the transformation here. Okay, so yeah, heavy on the mind affirmation. And then I was getting, I was getting heavy baby doll, heavy baby doll eyes. You know how like God was showing me this with my daughter because she has big old baby doll eyes and she gets whatever she wants. If she eh, 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 points at it, she gets whatever she wants. Okay, I'm a slave. Um, But <laughs> that's what God was showing me. Like this is how he feels about me, G. Just the way I feel about my baby with her big old baby doll eyes looking up at me, asking me for something. God feels that same way about me, G. And I was like, I was like, oh, for real? <laughs> I was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, but sometimes you don't need the shit that you be asking for. So I'm going to give you what you be asking for. I was like, all right, deal. I only ask for shit and expect the shit that I need okay in the moment and if you don't give it to me i'll respect the fact that you will give it to me when i need it and he was like all right like we was like building that type of relationship um but he was giving me the analogy of the baby doll eyes is like she was asking me for something she knew i would get her 11 11 she was asking me for the things that she knew i would get her just based off of the way she asked me she needed it she she would look cute having it and i was like you know what go ahead and get it like respect and god was really showing me that shit like when i really need something and i'd be like god i need it like i need it and i just say it and i leave it alone a couple days later or a day later that shit comes knocking lost and found energy this is that energy god is trying to introduce to you okay he is a shepherd that likes to feed and tend to and love his sheep he is a loving and tenful god and he will show you if you allow it to him but if you take pennies if you take uh a uh, little little scraps from these men okay if you take scraps from these women who give you a little bit of love and physical hugs and they they take a picture with you and you feel like you're you're on top of the world because a thought took a picture with you and now you look good in society why would god give you anything you serve those people okay those are your gods the people that you want pictures with and you want to be in relationship with you want to be taken care of by those are your gods those are and you're gonna have to accept what they give you and I refuse to accept mediocrity from any bitch. I refuse to accept scraps from any hoe. I refuse to, to, to accept anything that is less of me in any type of way. Because I can get it myself. And that's that energy. This is the uh, overall energy uh, that I was getting for you today. Listen to the song. Because there is somebody here who is coming for everything that you have. Okay, but they want to do it in a way where you feel like you need them so then they can take everything you have. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus right now. I pray that everybody watching this video sees their worth and everything that they have and not allow the enemy to take it from them and confuse you into giving it to them. All right. Uh, that including your energy, your intimacy. Okay, your love, all of that, your money. It's all yours, all of it, and nobody else can have it, G. And when I'm selfish, and when I'm selfish and I only give myself to God, he gives to me, okay? So take that as it resonates. If you have listened to this far in the video and you have not given me a like, you are a hater, <laughs> okay? If you have listened this far in the video and you have not given me a like, G, you are a hater, I hate her, okay? And I don't respect it. All right, so go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and like that shit up. You feel me? And let's get into the energy. Let's see what this lost and found energy is for Virgo, please. What are you trying to tell us with this energy? Okay, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Facts. It ain't luck. It's not. It's not, G. It's a relationship with God, for real. A relationship with the abundant energy. Blow the whistle, automatically phony energy coming up. Somebody real motherfucking phony. Papa was a rolling stone here. Cult sigil destroyed. Swamp energy. And you must think that I'm a fool. Here we go. Somebody got fake love. Okay, they're big old phony. 
Uh, y'all remember, you may not remember, uh, it's just me that remembers my thoughts because I'm the only one who experienced them. Um, but <laughs> uh, have you ever seen the, the episode of Spongebob where there was that guy that was always uh, calling uh, Patrick and calling Spongebob a phony? It was a guy, he couldn't let that shit go. He was, everywhere they went, it was like, phony, he's a phony, don't let, phony, like that fucking type of energy. And it's because this person could see through the delusion that everybody else was falling for and it made them mad that everybody else would fall for the delusion okay so you could be a whistleblower you could be telling people look it ain't what it is <laughs> it ain't what it is okay something is not right here why is blow the whistle here for this energy somebody could like to whistle and we whistle while we work okay i'm getting steam engines and also train whistles do they still have train whistles i'm getting far off far off the energy blow the whistle somebody's son likes train whistles we got recognition and more merit reward for merit here a journey either physically or mentally basket for real you're blowing the the you're blowing the whistle on a phony person who only wants recognition for their rewards g somebody only wants your love for the rewards g they only want to be with you for the rewards they only want your shit for their rewards they only they only listen and regurgitate for the rewards here okay and i feel like some there's gonna be a whistle blown on phony ass people who only want recognition for rewards g this is giving me the energy oh i told somebody uh i told somebody this Straight up, I was like, I only, I only let you in because I was looking for love. Like, I only did this because I was lonely. Okay, I only started talking to you because I was lonely and I was looking for love. Recognition, merit, reward for merit. I was only talking to you because I was looking for love. You were talking to me because you thought it would give you recognition and rewards. That's why when the recognition and rewards cut off, you feel me? Now, I you don't want to do the same things that you were doing. You don't want to give to me. There's somebody who only does something for something. This is also giving me that uh, bitch-ass energy of baby mamas and baby daddies that only allow them to uh, do shit with the kids if they're getting money or recognition out of it. Why is blow the whistle here? I'm also getting something about industry plants. Okay, people planted in an industry to get some type of recognition and then they get all this money and all the accolades saying the same things we've been preaching and talking about for a long time. But because they came with an image, you feel me? But because they came with some bullshit, they get the reward. What's a uh, blow the whistle energy? Oh, we have the three of pentacles to the chariot to the page of pentacles to the sun heavy earth energy and we have the tower here somebody wants to work with you and they're coming towards you with an opportunity and with the sun card you can see clearly the opportunity they got and what they got is small okay whoever they are whatever they are uh whatever this person is uh they want something or they just want money the chariot to the page of pinnacles of the sun somebody only wants to work with you to move forward they see you as an opportunity and i feel like you see that and this is a tower you recognizing whoever this is okay is just wait, wanting to come up waiting for you to come up to give you an offer to start things over again giving and taking uh to transform some type of energy here because they've been looking and watching you get rewards somebody wants to work with you now that you're coming up they see you as successful okay whoever this is is phony as fuck this could be somebody at your workplace this would be somebody you carpool with or they just want to be in the car. They want to be in the chariot with you. They, somebody want to be in a car with you when you succeed. They want to be in a video with you when you're shining. They want to be, uh, they want to coattail your success. You feel me? Uh, but that's all, all that's going to do is bring a burden to you. We have a tower to the emperor, three of wands, energy. Somebody's shocked that you turned your back on them. They were expecting... 
you to want them. They were expecting some type of telepathic offer to get you to give and take with them again to make you. Oh, uh, earlier I put out a video about a simp. There's somebody who's trying to get you to simp over them. There's a man out here who is trying to get you to simp over them. Okay, but all you wanted was love. And they can't give you that. This is that energy. Somebody wants you to simp over them when they can't give you what you want because they're phony, G. And this is causing a tower because you know if something was done right, it would be successful. That's how you know it's phony. Also, that industry plant shit as well. Somebody's working with people to push them forward and succeed out here. Some card. And they're going to be exposed for uh, some type of planting energy. Why is phony along with this energy here? Why is phony along with this energy? We have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Strength card. What's the Wheel of Fortune to the Queen of Cups? We have the kingpin and we have the judgment here, the ten of swords. We have the high of and the five of cups here. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, hear me out. There could be somebody here who wants to work with you, but you know they don't have shit. You know that already. This is like somebody coming to your organization and being like, can I buy a share of your organization and benefit off of your profits? Yeah, okay, how much do you have? Nothing, friendship, dick camaraderie like get the fuck out of here and taking in this lack energy who has nothing to offer will just burden your success something's real weird g because if this is a man there's a man who wants to live off a woman or there's a woman who wants things to go in her favor by being taken care of a man but it doesn't matter this is the judgment that somebody has I feel like you were looking for love and somebody was looking for a fucking come up, G. And then we have the Hierophant to the Five of Cups. I feel like they're being judged by the divine and they regret it. What's the judgment in the Hierophant? This is some type of workplace energy here. What's the judgment in the Hierophant to the Ace of Pentacles? The Ten of Wands. Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody here, you call judgment on someone. And I feel like it's because of your spiritual conviction. Because God gives you whatever you want. And this is that energy of saturation. That poured out energy. Like you may regret pouring out into this person. Because your conviction is coming in. And you're realizing that they're a burden to your success. The Knight of Cups. What's that G? The Six of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, burdening your you moving forward in work. Knight of Cups. The Three of Cups in the reverse, G. The Seven of Wands. The Five of Pentacles flipped over in the deck. The Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're standing your ground because somebody will conflict with the solid foundation that you're... It's like a childish-ass person trying to distract you from working, G. And if I can't work, like, this is weird. If I can't work, how are we going to make anything? This is weird, G. I don't know. So there's somebody who's a phony. I feel like uh, they see things going in your favor and they think that they can come up off your energy here. They judge you as, uh, they may, may have misjudged you, but now they're judging you as somebody who's divine or taken care of by the divine. And they regret leaving you out in the cold. Uh, they regret something here because there's an opportunity to come towards you and it's a real burden trying to get you to work with them again because you're standing your ground because you know working with this person is not conducive to anything. A waste of time. 24-24. So stand your ground. I feel like you're better off working alone and allowing God to give you everything that you don't have. Like, what the fuck? 
What's crazy is if you met somebody just like you, that's the whole point. I feel like you're looking for somebody just like you who also gets everything that they want from God. So it's we're on the same level, G. I don't know. Somebody wants you to play into some phony shit and it's sad. It's just sad. Uh, what's Papa was a Rolling Stone energy? Wherever he laid his hat was his home. An exciting event. Oh my gosh. This could be a father figure trying to roll in for a birthday or Christmas or something. This is giving me the energy of family tempted to roll in because Mercury retrograde or something. Something exciting is happening for you and somebody wants to come in and be a part of I, That's what I told you. They want to be in the pictures. They want to be on video. They want to be a part of it so bad because they lack G. They don't have attention. This is somebody who wants attention from humans. I literally work on social media and I do it anonymously so I don't get attention from humans. And this is somebody who wants attention from fucking humans. That's how you know they're not conducive. Who wants attention from these hoes? I want attention from God. I want him to talk to me more. I want to be connected with abundance. I want to be free, G. Nothing in this world tempts me at all. But sometimes I want love. And that's what traps me up. And this is somebody who is tempted by everything, G. Everything. Mm -mm. No. So if you have an exciting event and you bring one of your homegirls and they just so happen to be pretty, he'd be excited about her too. Like, get out of here. Sit your thirsty ass down. Go roll back where you want it. Somebody is unwanted, G. And they're about to try to come crash your party with the unwanted ass energy. Oh, lonely bitch. Oh, lonely bitch. What the fuck? You ever met somebody who always talk about how bored and lonely they are? Like, what the fuck are you doing with your time? Damn. Read a book. Talk to God. Do some, like, how are you bored and lonely? This is that person. Bored and lonely. When you can sit by yourself, you feel me, in a balanced position. You feel me, and be taken care of and good all on your own. Because there's nothing in the world for you but knowledge. Not these humans. I don't know what to tell somebody. Somebody really thinks, like, they are the temptation. They are the thing that you seek. Unless you're God, I don't know what you're talking about, G. What's Papa was a Rolling Stone? Uh, what's Papa was a Rolling Stone here? I just heard never meet your heroes. I don't know what that's about. Um, what's Papa was a Rolling Stone? Read the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups. <laughs> and the the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Cups here. All right, Kaji. Someone wants you to be confused, okay, that they're going to work hard and some type of celebration. This is somebody trying to confuse people that they worked hard in something that you were celebrating. Okay, confirmation. This is somebody who's going to try to confuse people into believing that they worked hard and they should be celebrating your fortunes. And here comes that song. That song I was talking about. Okay. Uh, coming for my soul. There's somebody here. Uh, oh, uh, we got to talk about the alabaster box. That's where that juju energy came from. Which is crazy. I didn't even think about that, G. Yo. Mark 14. Okay, the alabaster box. I read that before my juju oil spilled and I didn't even make that freaking correlation. That's insane. Anyways, so uh, something about you giving to God, whatever you give to God is enough for God to give you, give and receive anything. You have saturated. And even if you feel poor, G, even if you feel like you have nothing to give but the anointed oil that you pray over, even if you have nothing to give but your voice, 
and, and, and praise and speaking of the gospel, even if you have nothing to give but good news to tell people, you have given enough to be saturated by God. He, he takes your saturation. You've saturated enough to be received to be receiving shit by God, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Um, Mercury Retrograde is kicking my ass, but we're going to continue. We're talking about this song, G. Somebody trying to confuse you into believing that they worked hard for your success in some type of way, and they deserve none of it. They didn't work hard. They didn't put shit in. They're not a part of anything, and that's why they hate it, G. That's why they hate it so much. It says, don't act like you don't know. Somebody's going to try to act like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I worked hard for the group. No, don't act like you don't know. You're not coming from my soul. You cannot control me. Okay? Do not fall for this person's tricks or handstands. You ain't coming for my shit. Lyrics of the song. This is why you should listen to the song that I put in. Somebody wants to come for your shit. And they're surely mistaken to think that they're going to partake in the fruit that God gave you. That should go poison them. What's an exciting event? The Fool. Somebody, uh, the Six of Wands in the reverse, they go fail anyways. You're not going to fall for it. You're not going to show up. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't care if you're throwing your party. I don't care if you're, you hosted out, you rented out Disneyland. I don't care. I'm not going. The fool in the six of wands in the reverse. Somebody foolishly trying to come up with some type of party plans, a vacation. They're trying to come up with something here to make it look like they have been working hard on some shit. Make it look like they have been working hard to come together to celebrate. And everything they work hard on flops. That shit fail. This is an enemy coming towards you, China. This is an enemy. The six of wands in the reverse. They said an enemy coming to your gate. Okay. This man, whoever this is, heavy on the man with the fool, is foolish enough to come to the gates. To come to God's temple. You feel me? Come to God's people. An enemy at the gate. This foolish bitch to think that you will fall for a trick of an exciting event. An exciting event, the Seven of Cups. That is a trick. My note says, do not fall for the tricks of the handstands. And what is he doing upside down? Failing in that fucking handstand. Whoever this is, G. Okay? Heavy on the fire energy. Whoever this is, G, is going to fail. Fail miserably. You're just going to set that boundary. I know you didn't come over here trying to trespass, bitch. We got guns over here. I know you didn't come bringing that bullshit over here, bitch. This is that energy that it's giving. Because this is the devil tempting someone. And they think it's a game. They think it's a game so they end up destroyed. That's the next card. So if somebody thinks they're going to come to God's house, they think they're going to come to you, God's child, and fool you with some dumb shit. Uh, they're going to take action to do this, and they're going to fail. What's the fool to the six of wands, the four of cups? You reject it. Airball that shit. And they just gave me the analogy of somebody slapping it down. They show me shooting up, they, they shot, and they getting slapped down. The audacity for you to come to this gate, bitch. You better get gone before we start shooting, huh? This is the energy. I don't know who this is, but you don't like them. They're not welcome. They're an enemy. They come near you. Uh, Buckshots going wild. Like, this is the energy. And somebody really think that they go, oh, I, I've been working so hard. <laughs> Have they been working hard? Because somebody's acting like they're working hard, but that's a, to confuse people. Have they been working hard? All they do is, is all they have been doing is watching people work hard and then trying to exhort knowledge from others putting in work, saying that they have been working. Have they been working hard, G? Anyways, this person is stupid. What's gonna happen to this person? Um <laughs> 
body need? Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. Still my mind. This type of person, this type of person make you want to put out attack dogs outside the gates. So if even if they come towards the gates, the perimeter around the gates is all attack dogs. Like you ain't even go... Oh Lord, and I've never wanted an attack dog more. <laughs> you know when you like got enough guns and you're like, what's next? Like the attack dog before we have to use the gun. Like <laughs> this is this is sad, G. Um, what's that? The nine of wands to the four of wands. What's that? Seven of swords. The nine of pentacles. Somebody has been trying to live off of you. Ace of Wands and the Lovers. They want you to choose them so bad. Ew. That's so unattractive. You ever had a man that wanted you to want them so bad and it's like, no. You ever had somebody who was attractive before like they became needy and it was like, ah, gee. You're empty, aren't you? Ill. It's some empty ass, soulless ass people. And that's why they coming for your soul. Because they empty, G. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just empty. Wanting to be wanted so bad. The only person I want to want me is God, G. The only, the only person I crave and seek after is the Lord thy God Almighty. Because he seeks after me. What's cult sigil destroyed? Something is just icky. It's just, it's icky. Somebody icky, G. Like, you know when you touch something, you gotta like wash your hands super fast. You can't relax until you wash your hands. Like, just foul. What's cold sigil destroyed? That, no wonder nobody want to be around them. No wonder. I be literally trying to hide. And people be trying to find me. And I try to hide from the people who find me. And they still, <laughs> they still try to find me. This is a person here who everybody is running away from them. Mm -mm. What's cult sigil destroyed? Be careful not to take any risk here. Tempt we have troubles and accusation. Yeah, so how you destroy some type of cult is to not take a risk to be with them. There's somebody here uh, uh, with the fool to the six of wands in the reverse. If you took a leap towards that delusion that this person is trying to play, like they can be your lover, they can be your friend, they can be good for you in any type of way. If you were to take that leap, G, you would fail because they're a failure. They're empty. They have nothing. They can get nothing because they're not connected to real energy, real source. They're not a real human. They're a bot ass bitch. A bot. A robot. Okay, somebody just, I don't know, ain't, ain't no one home in soul, Bill. Face eyes. And they need your soul. And how you destroy something that needs your soul is not letting them get your soul, period. Don't let them be near you. Don't let them sniff you. Don't let them touch you. None of that. Don't let them see you. Hide. All that. Flee from the devil and he shall flee. Turn from the devil and he shall flee. Starve the devil and he shall flee. And if they don't, you know, attack dogs. You feel, you feel me? Shit. What's cult sigil here? And if they don't, you flee, I just heard. Judgment. Yeah, some cults under judgment by God. They have a whole different perspective here about you, who you are, all that. And trying to hold you back. And it's, oh, okay. There's somebody out here trying to hold back with God's judgment on you. That you will not be with a bot-ass bitch. Why would God, who loves you, 
put you with a dirty bitch. You ever think about that? These people try to convince you that you're the one for me. We're twin flames. We're we're supposed to be together. Like, uh, -uh. God loves me, G. Uh, uh, no, no. God died for me on the cross. You feel me? God walks walks in on on me in the worst scenario. You feel me? And still loves me. Got to see me at the lowest and the bottom and call me a beautiful child and then pick me up and put me back on top. And and there's somebody here who wants you to believe, G, that they're meant for you and they're supposed to be with you, attached to you in some type of way. And all it is doing is holding you back from God's real path. God's real partner, God's real alignment. And this person is being judged for trying to hold back God's plan. And they're about to take a whole lot of they're about to hold, take a whole lot of trouble and accusation for trying to force this love reconciliation shit with a person you hate. They love you, you hate them because they doing love spells on you. They're saturating you with love and it's making you feel icky. They saturating you with love and it's making you feel like you want to run away and get it off of you. And wash your hands immediately, G. And that's advice from a good friend. God telling you that you already have the success. You already have the love. You already have everything that you need to succeed. There's about to be a change in your life, okay? There's about to be some type of change because this person's being judged. They're about to be destroyed because they keep taking risks. To try to hold you back. To try to hold back your divine path and your divine favor. Which is you being loved on and free. It's, it's just, people are crazy, G. Yeah, judgment and the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These bitches, these oogly boogly bitches really think they got, they got some power to control you. Oh, here comes my notes again. You cannot control me. It's in the lyrics of this song that I put there as well. Heavily invested in controlling you and watching you and who you work with and what you're doing. Okay? So then they can block it. Uh-huh. Who is this person being judged? What's going on with judgment with this cult? The Page of Swords? Yeah, somebody about to see something. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, G. Yo. Taking action in this devil energy is about to get somebody fucked up. Because they were trying to hold you back from what God has ordained for you. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, freedom and happiness. Peace and abundance. That's all my Lord wants for me. I don't know about y'all, but that's the shit he be telling me. That's the shit he be showing me. That's the shit he be showing me. And there's people here who's trying to, I don't know, destroy that. But they're about to see that you're going to get whatever God has given to you. What's judgment? We have the Knight of Cups. What's judgment to the Knight of Cups here? We have the Queen of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. somebody's getting judgment from coming towards you yeah when they've been told to walk away what's judgment uh the knight of cups and the queen of cups here we have the page of wands and the king of pentacles in the reverse why is somebody being judged for that nine of wands and the sun card the eight of cups so somebody's being judged for um coming towards you coming towards you saying that they have good news that something is good here acting like they're good trying to invite you to something when they're really selfish with the kingpin in the reverse when they're really evil somebody could be very ugly and bad at math as well somebody is very dishonest they don't even know how to handle money but they think that they're gonna handle your money there's some type of domestic dispute here with a family issue as well And with the nine of wands to the sun card, G, 
whoever it is that is being burdened by a selfish person being extorted by a selfish energy because they were told to leave you alone and for some reason they just keep uh going back and forth and whether they should walk away and leave you alone or still fuck with you they're about to get fucked up g and they're about to be exposed for extorting you your family and your home this is like somebody watching you do it all by yourself and then trying to make it hard for you to do it by yourself because they're selfish Nine of Wands to the Sun card. So this is somebody wanting to come towards you to be selfish, to make it hard for you to succeed. Like that's literally what I'm reading. Why are they getting destroyed? Why is the destroyed cult sigil here? The devil, G. And it wanted to come out conflicting because we are about to be able to escape from the devil here. Somebody is trying to hold you back and attack you. Okay. Somebody who is trying to hold you back is about to experience a tower. Mm-hmm. And you're about to manifest everything that you wanted, G. Everything that you didn't know how and you didn't, uh, your intuition felt restricted from shit that's already yours. Making you feel like you uh, lack what you had, lack what you, uh, somebody wanted to make you feel lacking in the past so that you accept they small ass meager shit. But God told you that's confusion, baby. In the work of the devil, you can have a lot more by yourself. And I feel like you destroyed the cult when you realized that. Anyways, what's going to happen to this selfish person? We out here. The Ten of Wands. They're going to be burdened by the same burdens that they thought they were placing on you. The Lovers. The King of Cups. Somebody is going to be burdened by some type of <clears throat> love. Love choice that they make. Okay. Oh, somebody's going to be burdened because they're choosing to be emotionally invested in something. The Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. Okay. And we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. They see clearly. Six of Coins, Eight of Swords in the reverse, and the Moon in the reverse. We can take it either way. What they're saying is this person is going to burden themselves because they choose to stay invested in something when they see clearly... Okay, they choose they choose to be invested in something and work hard when with the two of cups in the the two of swords in the reverse, they see clearly, G, that you are celebrating and happy and content, giving and receiving without them. The eight of swords to the moon card here. And somebody's gonna feel restricted. See, there's somebody who needs you but you don't need them so it burdens them for you not to need them for some reason so they're gonna be burdened because you'll never need them eight of swords to the moon card what's the eight of swords to the moon card somebody could also go to jail we have the empress and the damn somebody's gonna be stuck with this love for you feeling like you're their wish fulfillment and they gonna get left in a past g they only left in the motherfucking past with the eight of cups to the six of swords to the king of swords to the death sword to the death card here. Somebody's going to be so overwhelmed, okay, by you not wanting them that they're going to eventually walk away and go do something else to fix their problems. So them wanting you and you not wanting them is going to create enough burdens for this person to to walk away eventually walk away so i don't know ten of swords i don't know okay and they're gonna feel betrayed by having by being having to walk away by having to walk away so whoever this person is they're crazy super crazy super super crazy <clears throat> and they're gonna get destroyed for taking this risk this is like somebody not working on 
not working on their finances, their life, nothing. They're just watching you and projecting that you want to be with them too. They're just wasting their time and life force on dumb shit. And Spirit said, this is how you're going to destroy this person. Because they're going to continue to take risks, wasting their life force away and getting nothing. Uh, what's Shrek Swamp energy here? There could also be some type of legal battle in which you'll be able to walk away from somebody. Yeah, the King of Swords. They said that person ain't the King of Swords. They're unintelligent. Okay. They said, damn. They said that they're going to walk away and you're going to be able to travel away from this person if you stay in this energy of cutting them off and not allowing them to return. Okay. So if you cut them off and don't, the star of the devil analogy, basically, J, you star the devil and he shall flee. That's how you destroy this person. They lonely ass, so thirsty for attention, so sad. That's crazy as hell. And it was even crazier is that God's there with this person wanting their attention. And they're giving it to you. <laughs> Anyways, what's Shrek Swamp energy? Success is shared with a good plan and hard work. Take care of their enemies around shark energy. Uh, something about black tips. Um, I also heard a reef shark. Something about the smaller uh, sharks. Um, <clears throat> something about shark week as well. I'm also getting Jack and the Beanstalk, golden eggs, golden goose energy. Golden Goose, fairy tale energy. Uh, Shrek Swamp, this is the energy I was talking about in the beginning. Um, how I was wasting a bunch of your time. Uh, <laughs> I was wasting a bunch of your time talking about the glory of God and uh, what he does for me. This is that energy. This is why I was led to speak about that, that energy in the beginning. Because this is what you get. Okay, when you put all that energy into yourself. Okay, and God, fairy tale shit starts happening. Like that lost and found shit. You start unlocking parts of your DNA, okay, and unlocking powers and things that you didn't know that you had. You feel me? God starts showing you images and, and favoring you in ways that you it are delighted in. It keeps you wanting to be alone. It keeps you wanting to seek more. It keeps you entertained. He, he comes to show you things, and it may seem like a fairy tale, and it takes you far away from the world, and you create your own little abundant spot and in this spot fairy tales happen you know that energy of how kids act when they at home and then when they act at school you feel me you can't act like that at school you're not at home this is the energy of somebody going over like you ever took it take somebody's kids i take people's kids because i babysit okay this may not work for your analogy but this is what they're giving me you know when you like bring somebody's kids over to your house and they start acting a certain way and then when you give their people their kids back they be like yeah it's weird how they act with you they don't act like that with me and it's because you have made an environment that's conducive to that energy God dwells in my home. I speak and pray over my home and keep God in my home at all times. So everybody who enters my home acts accordingly. You feel me? And it's giving me that energy of people recognizing that. Being like, man, I just got my child back from you. And uh, they acted all, and you be like, oh, they were a sweet angel over here. We had fun. We were frolicking. We did a bunch of happy upbeat things we were playing under the cover we had an imaginary pillow fight we made camps we you feel me it was all good over here and then when you get back my kids acting up uh, they don't do that over here they want to go back to your place they like that and it's because you created a conducive environment for people to thrive this is what god is seeking to do with you
This is why he's trying to get you alone. And you may feel like, why are you trying to make me be alone? It's because you either want to be with a, one of these robot, robot eyes people out here who are empty and are soulless. Or do you want to be abundant and live in abundance and frolic in the woods with all the tweeting birds and happiness and flowers? You choose. And I choose flowers every single motherfucking time, G. I choose myself every time. Okay, I choose abundance every time. And that's the type of energy that gets you success. This is what God is trying to set you up for. This is the glory and the love of God. He is going to set you up and put you in places where you have strong foundations where the enemy can't get to you. You could create fairy tale pieces of land and fairy tale movies. And this is what they want to keep you away from doing. From loving yourself. From seeing your favor. From seeing your worth. From seeing how much God will pour into you if you pour that time into yourself. That's crazy. I had I had told somebody I had gave the rest of the year to God. They were like, Wow, that's crazy. And I was like, it's just a couple of months. Like, God gave his whole life for me. Gee. But that's crazy to think that people people think it's crazy for me to give my life to God. You feel me? But they give all their time to bullshit, to, to false gods, to watching TV, <laughs> to hanging out with, with bitches that just want to uh, be intimate with them. That's what they get their time to. But it's crazy that I give my time to somebody who loves me. That's weird. It don't compute to me. And I feel like this is what God's trying to show you, G. He's trying to show you that if it ain't you that you're pouring yourself into, okay, or your higher self or your family or that your golden egg and your golden nugget, if it's not you pouring into that, then it's going to be taken. People are going to take it. This gives me the scripture. This gives me the script. Oh, what's that scripture, G? Oh, um, the one about how... If somebody doesn't use their gifts, God will give it to other people who are willing to use their gifts. This is like somebody who has spiritual gifts. This is what I was talking about, G. How God is in the living room with that person waiting for them to recognize God, but they're focused on you, allowing their fruits to 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 rot by watching yours. And God saying that they're going to give you the fruit of others. Hallelujah. They're going to give you the fruit of others who choose to watch you and idolize you instead of using their own fruit. You're about to get a whole lot of uh, success because you chose to uh, work hard and focus on yourself and heal and focus on God. You're about to get the fruit of others who choose to focus on you like a fool instead of eating their own fruit. What's Shrek Swamp Energy? The death card. <clears throat> um, the fairy tale creatures are passed on ancestors, passed on guides. I heard uh, the dead walks among you. I also heard something about the walking dead. I heard something about The Last of Us as well. There's going to be a new season of The Last of Us. Hit me up in the comments if you watch The Last of Us. I feel like The Last of Us is way better than The Walking Dead. Let me know your opinion down in the comments below here. But there's some dead who's walking around you. These fairy tale creatures, they're, they're, they're dead people. I just heard I see dead people as well. Um, I haven't been doing the word of the week, but I almost did one of the word of the week, uh, to yesterday. And I was going to talk about, um, that six sight thing that I was talking about where it's like, it's not like, um, how the matrix did the code, but it's like static, it's energy. So when I close my eyes, I can see static and energy. Okay. Um, but 
Uh, so <laughs> sometimes I can see things that isn't what I'm trying to picture. So I have to hone in on this skill before I release it um, so that I have good sure plan so if you've been wondering why i haven't been doing the word of the week i have to hold in and understand the shit that i'm talking about before i talk about it or it's not gonna work um so yeah um but this is giving me the energy i'm gonna shut the fuck up <laughs> this is giving me the energy of um dead people g Ancestors and guides, the dead among you, fairy tale creatures showing you things, uh, leading you towards things. Okay, some of you could have mourned the passing of someone. My condolences. What's this energy here? We have the devil. We have the temperance and the star. Heavy uh, <clears throat> to the star energy. Hold on. <laughs> all right huh, my nose uh what the death card to the devil to the temperance to the star g there's something that is ending okay there's an ending to something and it's transforming some type of control issue, commitment or enslavement, entrapment, perception or obligation that you uh, may have been running from. Temperance to the star. Uh, this is the energy of choosing the middle ground. You feel me? To the scar card where you're led. This is giving me the energy of God trying to transform all the entrapments, all the work of the devil, uh, the, the setups. All right, it's a setup that's placed to keep you away from this divine favor, temperance in the star, the things that they're trying to lead you towards, the life that they're trying to make you live, the abundant temperance life. Okay, that's the ultimate goal in which they are leading you to. That is what they're trying to uh, get you to be in when you're in this state of alone energy here. Okay, they're trying to get you to transform and end addictions. They're trying to, this is giving me the energy, G, of what I just told you. I'm not codependent to anything. I don't want anything. Uh, nothing in the world uh, uh, tempts me except love sometimes. And I, I'm working on that. That's like my last vice. And once I get rid of that, it's like I'm viceless. Temperance to the star. And that's that type of energy then spirit can use you and mold you. Okay, then they can... Um, really transform old things because something has to be in alignment for it to work gee what i just said about not doing the word of the week because i need a good plan i need a good path of uh, a good pathway a good plan a good setup for something to work and if there's entrapments addictions and things that can distract me and tempt me off my plan and path the these good plans can be can be soiled okay and this is why god's really trying to get you alone to end addictions to end entrapment entrapments to end bonds there's also somebody who keeps trying to bind themselves to you Uh, this is giving me the strong and the foothold of the devil, allowing footholds and allowing bonds because you are tempted to give in to these things. Okay, but you aren't tempted to give in these things when God gives you the thing that you are tempted for. Lost and found energy asking you to receive. You don't need anything from the devil when God gives it to you. Star card, this is what they're trying to lead you and show you at this time. Okay, and there's a whole lot of dead people, a whole lot of dead things helping you. There's also giving me something here about generational curses. I just heard the curse of our the curse of the womb, okay, of our father's womb, our, our mother's womb and the father's seed. This is giving me the energy of transforming inherited binds and bounds and obligations. Inherited via the way of the womb 
or the way of the world that we were born into, G. Temperance of the star, finding the middle path that God is trying to lead you to. Although we are in hell, although we are in hell, we can create heaven. If you listen to me, this is where I'm trying to lead you towards. Green water, I mean, green pasture and abundant water. Okay? The shepherd is here, y'all. The shepherd is always here. And it takes you being alone to be led, G. And you're about to see that. Somebody's about to see that, G. You end your vices, temperance in the star. Then things are going to start working out for you. We have the eight of cups. We have the four of wands in the reverse and we have the three of pentacles here. This is abandoning things that don't serve you, G. This is uh, walking away okay from things that aren't equal this is also the energy of abandoning things because they bring setbacks to your foundation the things that you are trying to learn the lessons god is trying to teach you see god teaches us lessons to be fruitful and abundant it's not like God's trying to treat you to do anything wrong. So they need you to be alone and walk away, willingly walk away. I'm getting something about addiction as well. You can't walk away from addiction. You can't make somebody go to rehab until they're ready. Because when you're ready for something, then you can mentally walk away from the, the bonds and the entrapment of the devil. And the devil is here upright. So that means there are still bonds and binds holding you back from your path that God is trying to get you to walk away from. Because they're delaying and they're turning your foundation upside down. Three of Pentacles. By working with them, by being with them, by being around them. And God is telling you, you ain't got to work with any of these pigs, any of these fools, any of these bitch ass swine. Come work with me. Come work with the divine. Come work with your ancestors and your guides. Come work with yourself, G. And that's that type of plan that's assured success. What's the plan, G? That's the type of plan that's assured success. This is what they're working on with you, Empress. This is what they're working so hard for, G. So they need you to reject these parties, reject these friends, reject these bitches, reject these hoes that's trying to conflict with God's plan, which is to take care of you. I can feel the anger of God, G. All he want to do is take care of you. All he want you to do is come home. All he wants you to do is abandon the people who make you feel like you ain't shit. All he wants you to do is build a solid foundation built off of him, G. Him and him, him and only him. So then the rest of that shit can be poured in after the foundation is built, set, and solidified. That's the good plan he's trying to make sure succeed in your life in this time. And if you don't listen to God, gee, if you turn away from ultimate love, you are a fool and you are stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Last energy here. Oof. All glory to the most high. Woo. All glory to the most high. Uh, you must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a full energy here. Yeah. Um, somebody could be gay. Heavy on the Sam Smith energy. Okay. Heavy on the down low men. These these men really be gay. They really, they really do. They really be hating their mamas. Okay. And they really be gay. And that's why they hate on women and dog on women. And get together and do gay shit. Like getting in a group of men and bashing women. Gayest shit I've ever seen. Y'all want to talk about uh, uh, these men, the real gay ones out here living their lives. But the gayest shit I've ever seen is these so-called straight men all get in a circle. You feel me? And bash women. That shit gay as fuck. I don't care what you say. The most masculine thing I've ever seen is how God, you feel me, has looked at me 
while doing the dumbest shit and was just like, it's okay, come this way. Instead of bashing me, God was just like, it's okay. That's all right. I understand. Come on. And there's somebody out here foolish and stupid that thinks that they're going to break down your confidence to get you to be with them. And that's what they don't understand about the glory of God, okay? The glory of loving somebody who loves you for real is that they would never try to break your confidence. They would never try to hold you back. They would never try to bash you, G. Anybody who's doing that hates you. And, it, it, and if you feel personally hit by the shit that I say, because mm -hmm, I know you won't hear watching your dumb bitch ass clicking on every video and then feeling personally hit by everything that I say. If the shoe fits, bitch, get hit by it. I don't care. I really don't. I really don't. Because I'm not talking about anybody in particular. But if the shoe fits, ho, get hit by it. This made me mad. This made me mad, y'all. Only because of how much God loves. And then I have to get on here and then try to explain to people that God just loves us. And you mad because God loves us. Like you a stupid bitch. God loves you too, ho. <laughs> like, come on, G. Come on. Stupid as hell. You must think that I'm stupid. A stubborn and aggressive person. Yep. You're just stupid, hard-headed as hell. Just dumb ass, bitch. New career. I gotta stop saying that. Feeling tired or um, yoked down. And tired or held down. And temptation. There go that temptation. I gotta stop saying, uh, oh, dummy ass, bitch. Oh, stupid ass, bitch. My little three-year-old was at the park. And he was like, oh, stupid ass. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, 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 wait. What'd she do? Is she stupid? Cause come on, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna tell my baby, you feel me? You ain't gonna tell my baby he wrong. Okay? When the shoe fit. My baby only get disrespectful when people get ignorant. Then he acts up. So what'd you do? That's that type of energy here. That's that type of energy here. Somebody's trying to fool God to believe that you're being stubborn and aggressive. Somebody trying to fool God to believe that you are being stubborn and aggressive. And God's like, nah, that don't sound right. You must think that I'm stupid. My sheep don't even got, don't even got no uh, horns on them. My sheep ain't, ain't going to be like that. Not the ones that I lead, G. What did you do? See, there's somebody here who feels like they can. They're justified in holding you back from your career that God put you in. Your path that God put you in. Okay, because they're tempted to test you because you're far away from them working and achieving and they see your hard work and they want to burden you and make you feel lack, Virgo, because they're stupid, G, because they're stupid, because they're a stupid ass young man. They're stupid. And they want you to celebrate with them and vacation with them and gossip with them to preserve all their problems because they're left out in the cold from you. The problem is that they don't have you. They don't have your soul. They don't have the profits. They don't have the shit that comes with you. They don't have your energy. And that's what burdens somebody because they're a demon. And a demon wants to come to God and convince God that you are being stubborn and aggressive. And God's like, I taught him to be like that. Oh, you talking about Virgo? What'd she say? Oh, she said you was a dumbass bitch? Oh, well, are you a dumbass bitch? That's God. Like, this is the energy. Somebody really thinks that they're going to call you something. And if you were that, you had justified reason for that. And this is this dummy thinking like, 
this is giving you the energy of somebody being like, um, I try not to let them, this is, okay, an example here. This is giving me the energy of somebody who's like, oh, yeah, I didn't let them leave. Wait, start over? You you were trying to block the exit? Yeah. So what had happened was I was trying to block the exit so that Virgo couldn't leave. And they were like, okay. And they were like, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to block the exit, right? And I was trying to try to make it so Virgo couldn't leave, right? And then Virgo pulls out a gun. You feel me? Virgo pulls out a gun and starts spazzing out on everybody. Start threatening folks' lives and shit. Virgo just went crazy, went absurd for no reason. And then they were like, hold on, hold on, back up. Did you say that you were trying to make Virgo stay somewhere they didn't want to be? And that it was their fault for pulling out a weapon and spazzing out on y'all? But you still alive. Virgo left calmly. Nobody was hurt. And you're trying to get Virgo in trouble for you trying to hold them hostage, G. Like, this is somebody, they, they don't even think that in in advance. They don't even, they're, they're retarded. Like, this is somebody, like, calling the cops saying that you flashed your gun. You feel me? And then they mistakenly told the, the whole story. And they were like, yeah, she flashed her gun because I wouldn't let her leave. And I was like, wait a minute. That sound like self-defense, nigga. <laughs> that sound like, uh... I sound like Virgo should have put four holes in a body. You feel me? Anyways. Somebody real, they just stupid, G. And they go try to make you spaz out on them. And it's not even going to work. It's just going to make them look more stupid. See, somebody wants you to spaz. I ain't got to spaz. That's what God do. I just got to make threats, bitch. Justified threats. And then I let God do the rest. scary ass bitch oh <laughs> oh simple bitch oh dummy bitch oh stupid bitch why is you must think that i'm stupid you must think that i'm a fool here we got the page of wands the moon card what's the page of wands of the moon card to so the four of wands in the reverse here This is like somebody messaging you and you already know they have nothing to you. Like, this is somebody messaging you and being like, oh yeah, I'm doing great, G. And you low-key know that they lost their home, they homeless, they all fucked up. They're going through discord and disharmony, you feel me? But they're trying to pretend. This is also giving me the energy of somebody trying to invite you to something and you know their home is in disarray. Like come over for a celebration, you feel me? And with the moon cards of the four of wands, you're like, my intuition is telling me like, even though that you seem happy and jolly, you really don't like me. Four of wands in the reverse. You really don't want to be here. Excuse me. You're really only doing something because you're in need, G. Because you're needing, because things aren't going good for you. Page of Wands, the moon card, the four of wands in the universe. This is giving me the energy of somebody messaging me, messaging you that uh, coming back on some Sam Smith shit and Sam Smith being like, you must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a fool if you don't think I can use my eyes to see that you're stupid and that you're a fool. This is not, and I don't know. I don't know what to tell somebody. They trying to pretend like they're not stupid. They're trying to hide that they're not falling apart. They're trying to hide that something isn't going right for them. And nobody's stupid. Everybody can see that shit. What's the four of wands in the rivers? Or they're in a relationship and the person that they with don't like them. The three of cups crossing, G. You don't like this person? Nobody do. Nobody want to be around them. Nobody's celebrating with them. It's not a fun time. 
it came out crossing that shit is conflicting having fun with them is conflicting because of something that is uh not four of wands in the reverse unstable unequitable and this is what you stand on why would i leave the comforts of my home why would i leave the lord thy god almighty for a simple bitch an ugly hoe a dirty bitch a bitch who just want attention like this is the devil trying to tempt you with dumb shit, G. Don't be tricked by the by the uh, don't be tricked by the tricks. Don't be fooled by the tricks, G. Okay, don't fall for the tricks or the handstands is the uh the song. Okay? Don't fall for this. Somebody's gonna do tricks and handstands to make it seem like something is not the way it is, and your intuition is gonna tell you this motherfucker lying. This is giving me the energy. You know when you on those dating pro profiles. And, and uh, they have one picture and they looking like this, right? And then you you see in their bio and it's like, I'm a millionaire. I work from home, business owner. I got it and nobody give it to me. I got it from the streets, pray to pull out the mud. It, or, or, or the stupid ones is like, I got that gas. I got that fire. I got so much money. And then you scroll down in their pictures and you see a picture of them in a bathroom. And their bathroom look dilapidated and fucked up and dirty, G. And they got toothbrush marks on the fucking mirror in every picture. And, and crumbs and dirty shit everywhere. And it's in disarray and disarray in the background. You know for a fact that that motherfucker is lying. This is like the energy of somebody telling you that they're straight. You feel me? And in the back of your head, you like, you like, if you were straight, then why? <laughs> if you were straight, then why'd you, uh, if you were straight, like, why are you on my nuts so bad? If you were straight, like, why? Why do you care if I don't want to hang out with you? If you're straight, why are you talking bad about my girlfriend trying to get me to break up with my girlfriend? Gee, you just want me to be alone with your dumb ass. This is giving me the energy. I don't know, G. It's just weird shit. You're going to be put in scenarios where people try to fool you into believing that whatever they have is better than what God has for you. And it's just a lie. It's all a lie. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the illusion. No pokey doke. Okay, use your intuition. What's a stupid or stubborn person? <clears throat> you don't want to hang out with somebody. The hermit. The four of swords. The knight of swords. The hang one, the higher third. So there's somebody who is uh, telling people um, they're doing things in the dark to make it seem like four of wands. You're unstable. Like you're a, a stubborn, under, an un, uh, aggressive person because you don't want to hang out with the three of cups. Okay, so there's people here that is messaging. Okay, there's a person here who is messaging others about you. And their intuition is telling them that this person is really lacking in some type of way. And that's the reason you don't want to hang out with them. Because this person is very stubborn and aggressive. And everybody knows that. The hermit. Everybody knows that. And with the Four of Swords to the Knight of Swords to the Hanged One, this person even knows that they need to heal and see something from a different perspective. This is giving me the energy of the people investigating why you don't want to hang out with them. And they know it's because you obviously isolated yourself from this person because they attack who they are, what they do. People have a different perspective of somebody here. 
So there is somebody here who is trying to paint a perspective of you. Okay, to people who they thought were stupid and fools. But when they gave messages about you, when they talked shit about you to others, this is gossiping, smearing. When they were gossiping and smearing your name to others, people investigated this shit. And they separated themselves from this person because they realized that this person only is a hater. They're a fucking hater, G. They're a hater. They're a hater and they're mad that you are doing better without them. Uh, so, yeah. Don't fall for the okie doke, G. God's not going to fall for it. The other people who are awake and intelligent aren't going to fall for it either. Uh, somebody's just wasting their time trying to do this shit to you. But the most important message out of all of this, G, is that God wants to create a solid foundation in which you can thrive in this world. And he has put me in a place where I'm supposed to help others. And because I do that, I get help. Do you feel me? But just like that alabaster metaphor where I was talking about earlier, that even if you feel like you don't have anything to give, even if you feel like you may not be in a position like I am to uh, give and serve to others, you being in service to yourself is that same thing. That's all God wants you to do, G. Get that same energy, be in service to yourself, listen and see him there. See the love, see the prosperity that he is trying to give to you. See the knowledge, learn the lessons, focus on yourself, give yourself that service and say good things and do good things. And that is enough. And with this plan, he is assured that he can create heaven and hell for you. And I hope to see every one of you there, G. That's the real goal and the message of every message that I put out. All right. So if you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. See what's coming up next in the Virgos. And y'all ain't know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.